am Maria Langer, and I wanted to share with you a narrated time-lapse recording of me installing the Pergo, which is laminate wood flooring, in my bedroom. So let's take a look. I started out by vacuuming the floor, trying to get most of the dust off. The drywall guys left a lot of dust in this place. I can't wait to get the floor down so I don't have to deal with it anymore. The Pergo snaps together. It's actually pretty easy to do once you get the hang of it. And it has built-in padding so I don't have to lay down sheets of padding. I start on the left-hand side and work my way to the right. And then when I get to the end, I have to run downstairs and use my miter saw or sometimes my table saw to cut the pieces to fit. I really got the hang of it pretty quickly. And I have to say, it sounds pretty strange, but after a while, it got kind of fun. Lots of dust. You could see my footprints all over the place on the wood. And uh, later on, I'll mop that up. Didn't take very long to get this far. I moved the camera over, and then I took a lunch break, had a nice steak, grilled it up outside. And you could see the sun coming in through the room. And then I got back to work. Got a little tricky near the end here. I had to cut the pieces pretty exact for the doorway. There'll be a transition strip there. And then right around this time, I got called away. I was interviewed for a podcast. You might want to check it out if you're a pilot. It's called Inspired Pilot. Yes, this is a commercial break. And I was interviewed for, oh, I don't know, about an hour and a half. I, don't, I assume he's going to edit that down uh, by a UK-based pilot who does this great podcast. So I hope you'll look it up. It's called Inspired Pilot. And you can find it at inspiredpilot.com. It's also on uh, iTunes and all the usual places you'd find podcasts. So I was gone for, oh, I'd say a good hour and a half here. I'm going to come back real soon now. Bear with me. You notice I have my notepad there. It's because I had to take a lot of notes near the end. I had to draw pictures of the way the pieces needed to be, and I still managed to screw them up. Not too many, but enough to kind of tick me off. Pergo goes only in one direction, so if you cut off the wrong end, you pretty much screwed up that piece for your use. And if you're lucky, you can use it on something else later, but most likely you can't. So I did, um, I probably wasted maybe two sheets of Pergo. Got a little tight near the end there, and I managed to finish it all up. And I cleaned up, wanted to see what it looked like with the floor all clean. And there it is. Hope you enjoyed that. Stay tuned. I'll try to share more videos and time lapses with you as I complete this project. It's getting near the end. Bye now.